My name is John Lewis, and I am the Director of Community Engagement at Deeper Roots Coffee. Deeper Roots Coffee is a local micro roaster of specialty coffee. We're a part of a movement that's been taking place the past 15, 20 years of specialty coffee. And the, and the, the, the disti distinction with specialty coffee is that there are qualitative differences in coffee taste. Uh, and if you think about wine, if you think about the craft beer movement, uh, coffee has kind of been following in those footsteps in terms of paying attention to how coffee is grown, where it's grown around the world, uh, working together with coffee farmers and producers who are paying attention to quality. So we work with coffee producers all over the place in, in Guatemala, other countries in Central America, South America, um, Ethiopia and Kenya are, are very uh, reputable coffee countries, um, but we also have relationships in Burundi, in Rwanda, in Malawi, and, so, and some of the lesser known coffee countries. Um, in Asia, there's, there's Sumatra, there's Papua New Guinea. Um, and so coffee around the world um, has these opportunities for relationships. When you build a relationship of trust and a long-term relationship, there's, there's a lot more involved. You're taking care of each other. And so whatever comes your way, whether it's a bad harvest season, whether the weather uh, is changing for you, the climate is changing, um, economic conditions, uh, long-term relationships mean that you're there to support each other through the good times and the bad times. We've been able to give money back and to work on the infrastructure that's necessary. The community that we work with, um, they had grown coffee, but they had never been able to have control of their own infrastructure or to export it themselves. And so through Deeper Roots development, um, what began as a, as a very small scale project where coffee was brought back to the United States in a suitcase, uh, we now import over 15,000 pounds from this community and have been able to just see quite a, a development in their quality of life because of this relationship and because of the coffee, cups of coffee that we serve throughout the city. We have a, a menu of signature drinks. Uh, those, some of them are permanent fixtures because they're so good. We have a drink called the Honey Bear, which is quite simply a latte made with local honey and cinnamon. And the compliment, what we try to do with all of our coffee drinks uh, is not overwhelm the coffee with sweetness, uh, but to find flavors that complement the flavor of coffee. So the, the Honey Bear is just a, is just a permanent fixture. It's, it's our most popular drink. When the holidays come around, we do like to offer some, some very distinctive and, and special coffees. There's, there's a variety called Gesha, which is utterly unique in the world of coffees. It, it has a distinctive floral uh, characteristic that, that you just wouldn't expect out of a coffee that was kind of rediscovered uh, out of Central America. We do have a, a, a twist on the, on the autumn latte. It's some of the same spices that roll into the, into the season, but we call it a ginger spice. We'll use brown sugar instead of, uh, instead of regular sugar, and it brings that molasses-like sweetness, which makes for a, a really a delicious drink. Um, we take some fresh peppermint uh, tea, used as tea, and make a simple syrup out of it so you can find a peppermint hot chocolate or, or a peppermint mocha. It's utterly delicious. It's not too sweet and it has a little bit of that botanical quality that you find in real peppermint. So just real ingredients, um, simple sweetness, and, and great complement to the coffee. What we want our places to be are still points in this turning world. We want to provide equanimity. You know, we want to, we want to be a place of balance uh, in a time of upheaval. We want to be a place of harmony. What we offer is, is a place that's open and welcome to all. Um, and so above all, uh, coffee is an antidote for isolation. It's a place of connection, uh, and not only in our neighborhoods and our communities, but it really, like when I drink a cup of coffee, I feel connected to the producers that grew it. And that's, that's quite something. It's, it's a pretty rare thing to have a cross-cultural connection just from enjoying a cup of coffee. Come on out to Deeper Roots Coffee. You can find us at uh, 3056 Madison Road, right in Oakley Square, right on the same block as Aglamisi's Brothers Ice Cream. Uh, that's a sweet little neighborhood spot. Uh, come in and stop in for a cup of coffee there. We're also located right next to Finley Market, 1814 Race Street. Um, you can find us online, deeperrootscoffee.com. You can buy coffee there and enjoy it at home. Uh, and you can also find us on your social media, uh, your usual social media platforms, Deeper Roots DRC. The doors are open wide, come on in and see us.